We do that every day anyway. <laughs> Welcome back Great to the program, folks. Drums, you can see yeah. we're playing all of our air instruments. We're yes. getting ready for the one-man band coming up next hour. Uh, he's performing over at Warren we County inspired. at the fair. Uh, looking forward to that, but also looking forward to visiting more with Matt Eisman. He's headliner at the Funny Bone. You see him on uh, American Ninja Warrior. He's the guy. He's the host of American Ninja Warrior. A uh, very cool program. We're just having a great time talking to you, man. You see, you're a lot of fun, man. Uh, I, this is I, cool. This, this, is, uh, this is my dream job, just to come in and just talk about stuff and have fun. Just to and not have to, you know, on my show, it's always an unbelievable performance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to burst a vein. By the end of this, I'm hoarse. I have no voice. People, people, people worry about the ninjas. I'm like, I lose my voice occasionally. Yeah, well, so I hope people appreciate right, the yeah, effort. Yeah, 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 that's road, right. Road code, road code, that's yeah. Wait, are you, you talked about playing sports when yeah. you were in school. You mm -hmm. hosted a sports show. Are you a sports fanatic? Yeah, you enjoy yeah I did. I grew up, I played basketball, football, and baseball in high school. Then did baseball in college and still ski, golf. I'm, you know, not particularly well, but I love doing it. Broncos are my team. Are still, they? Still yeah, love, okay. yeah. That's I was right. actually just out in Vegas. I hosted uh, Fantasy Sports Combine, and Kyle Orton, who I understand, from here. is yeah, from, from here. Yeah. He was out there uh, along with some, some other NFL guys, Todd He, Brandon Jacobs, and, you know, you sometimes you think, like, maybe I things had gone well, I could have played, and then you see the scope, the mass of these guys and their athletic ability. You're like, I don't think I could have. I don't think I could have. I think I should have stuck to high school where I, where I peaked. I'm a host. Yeah, I can, I can do that. I can talk about yeah, it. You can That's do that. it. Yeah. Perfect. That's well, this is this is perfect. Not only are you an athlete, you, you have a, a you're your an athletic host. supporter. <laughs> <laughs> you host an athletic program. You are a doctor legitimately. He is a doctor yes. as well. So our very first story on Totally Serious News is right up your alley. You can let us know whether or not this, this holds any water here. Okay. Because apparently there's a new sports drink. Mm. That's available. That's better than your Gatorade. Oh, wow. That's out there. And here is what it is made out of. Check this out. Mm. Yeah. Beats. Beats. Yeah. See if this makes sense to you. A press release of a study that just came out in the American Journal of Physiological, Regulatory, Integrative, and Comparative Physiology. That sounds like <laughs> okay. a, a real publication. <laughs> All right. Uh, you read that often when you were in high school, here. didn't you? This he sounds says, like RAGBRAI. That's <laughs> one of those good acronyms. It says that uh, exercisers who consumed beet juice experienced positive effects while progressive cycling and while at rest. They're saying that beet juice does more for the body than any kind of sports drink will do. Hmm. It says blood pressure was lowered and the heart needed less oxygen during a workout, which led researchers to conclude it enabled the enhancing O2 delivery system, reducing the work of the heart. Wow. Does that make sense uh, from well, a doctor's it, standpoint? I, I just, I, if it's true, I know my mom's going to go, I told you so. <laughs> Eat your beets. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know what uh, what the substances in beets would be, mm. but Gatorade essentially is just electrolytes with some sugar, simple right. carbohydrates. Beets are going to have some naturally occurring sugars. I don't know what the substance in beets. It's, it's a little cryptic, yeah. the article mm, talking yeah. about the magical effect of beets. I'm yeah. sure we could isolate it, it, it now. Says, uh, it's, it has a product, the beet juice converts the nitric oxide in the body helps dilate some blood vessels oh. to increase, increase blood flow. That's, 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 that's all. That's all that's plausible. All I, I, I know coconut water has been all right, the rage as well. One, kind yeah. of a naturally occurring Gatorade with the electrolytes and its simple sugars in there. So any of that stuff is good. I think any of it's probably going to be better than drinking a 64 ounce big gulp of Dr Pepper, which is <laughs> well, we we actually Mountain Dew would be my thing. Yeah. I remember that when we were in high school. You'd, yeah, that was it. You'd go get a massive big gulp of Mountain Dew. <laughs> Just dehydrate yourself with a caffeine. And, <laughs> and, and, and all this, you know, 700 calories of sugar you're consuming oh, there. Right. So, so we just had, had to relate that to you. Yeah, I just beet I don't juice. know if the taste is going to be. I think that's, that's, that's it. Ah, mix ah, mix, ah, mix, mix it, it with Powerade yeah. or something. Right. Yeah, I'd then, mix it with something. Yeah, you might be able to pull that one up. All right, now here's the next story here. We want to talk about another athlete here, Gronk. Have you seen him on TV? Oh I don't know God. how you have, have not been able to see him on oh, TV. Oh, yeah. Well, I watch Big Brother, and actually my buddy's a producer on there, and they had Rob Gronkowski on the show. Mm -hmm. And I was so fascinated. And they, the whole thing, though, was about uh, Gronk's party, like Gronk's summer party. And, and we, they, they ended up creating a massive beer pong set. And I'm just like, <laughs> is this the message this guy sent me? Like, where's Bill Belichick? Why is he going to sleep at the wheel? Right. His player going out there. Gronk has a party cruise at the end of next season. Right. That people are going to go on a cruise with this guy. I'm like, this is not going to end well. All this guy is doing is drinking and advertising the fact that he's a meathead. Which, by the way, Hey! 
good on you, Gronk. Yeah, good for you. Yeah, you it's good to be Gronk. I, I didn't know he, I didn't know that guy could read. <laughs> yeah, I Let alone write. But we're talking about books because yeah. your book would be fascinating. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Who to be mad? <laughs> a little but less yeah, meat heavy. So look for him. But check this out. At interviews so we're now, a little some of the fire interviewers style, are finding right? him attractive too. Look at this. Boxers or briefs? Boxers. Beer pong or flip cup? Flip cup. Blondes or brunettes? Blondes. And brunettes. <laughs> Are you oh. single? Yes. Are you? Tonight I am. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm here with Rob Gronkowski, and who do you love? I love the drawer. It is a Jordan Duffy was her name, and well, I, oh, I thought that was one of the Kardashian sisters. That was, that was uh, you need to write a book. Yeah, that was um, that was obvious. I, I <laughs> well, that happens to you when you're out uh, about tons, it. Tons, well. yeah. tons of times. Boxers, boxer briefs is the answer, by the way, ladies. Uh, that was that was uh, I, I, I couldn't believe though when she goes blondes or brunettes and he said blondes. Blonde, he totally kind of sure. kept hitting yeah. on it. Oh, oh, my God. God. Oh, oh, Steam woman. <laughs> like she could have gone, well, I prefer soccer players. Something to get back in. Right, something there. Something there. So that was just 